Hey, good fellas. When we talk about investment, we often think about crypto. When we talk investment products, we often think about watches like a Rolex Batman or a Rolex Daytona or a Paul Newman or like a, a Nautilus of Patek Philippe. Oh, you name it. You know, there are so many very expensive watches nowadays, vintage Rolexes or cars, vintage cars, vintage Porsches, vintage Ferraris or limited edition Ferraris. But we forgot that there's another product that can have and crazy price increase and increase in value. And it's luxury pants. So what I wanna to do today is actually to check out some kind of pants that either already have increased in value or have the potential to increase in value in a crazy way, but they're still cheap nowadays. So I would say, let's just start and discover this together. I've put, as a first thing, collaboration pens. So if you think about, for example, the watch industry, nowadays on auctions, you have a lot of those beautiful Rolexes with like the, um, you know, the Dubai army or the Qatari um, royal family with the little family logo on the dial. Well, in pens, there's something pretty similar, and it's, for example, when you have a very classic pen like the Meisterstück of Mont Blanc, and then you have something special like the Warner Music logo on it. So, for example, this is a, a celebration pen that Warner Music um, created together with Mont Blanc. There's the date on it, and obviously we're talking about a pen that is an icon, but that has that little detail engraved on the pen itself and maybe even comes with the box like in this case. Now you can imagine the more this market grows, the more this kind of pens are going to be very requested by people because it's that little detail that makes the whole difference. And if you go on eBay, if you go on, on any auction platform, you will see that there are different kinds of pens and brands that created like special collaborations. I also have, for example, a Caran Le Mans did especially for the Pictet Bank. That makes it, again, a very classic pen with that little detail. So watch out about those pens. Go on eBay because they're not that expensive yet. You can buy them at great prices. They're very valuable items and they're gonna get even more valuable with time the more we grow our industry. Then, let's go to the next one and it's limited editions. Now, obviously, not every limited edition of every brand, but of the big brands, like Mont Blanc, you can be sure that the price and the value of the pen is gonna grow. Obviously, not of each edition, but if we take, for example, the Agatha Christie, this was the second brightest edition ever released by Mont Blanc. This pen here has increased and already doubled in value since 1993, if I'm not wrong, that was the year when it was created. It has already doubled in value. Um, for example, another one is the Lorenzo de' Medici, which nowadays can be bought, if it's full set, between 6,000 and 10,000 US dollar. That pen was costing back at the time $2,000, and now it's three, four times the value than what it was back at the time. But not only that, I mean, if, if we think about the Mont Blanc, um, uh, uh, the Mont Blanc Shakespeare, Mont Blanc Shakespeare cannot be found at the moment. If you own one of those, you can sell it at crazy prices. It has already triplicated in value. It was costing around um, 3,000. The limited edition was costing around 3,000, and you can probably sell it for 12,000 right now. And the special edition, or the lower limited edition, not special edition, but the lower limited edition, uh, was priced at like 1,000 and can be sold easily at three, 4,000 US dollar uh, right now. So so it's a crazy price increase. But not only with Mont Blanc, even with Graf and Faber Castell, if we take the pen of the year, the early ones, they've already doubled in value. So definitely watch out after interesting limited editions from interesting brands or even about limited editions with 
very small limitation number. For example, the 88s of the Japanese or the limited edition Radens of Pelican limited to 400 pieces that sell out in a second. So you gotta watch out what's going on in the market and see which pens have the potential to grow in value over time. Let's not forget that this is something we should enjoy. We should not buy pens only for a matter of value, but obviously we're also interested to know where our where our money goes in and so value always is and remains a very important factor now something else i wanted to mention when it comes uh, about limited editions make sure and try to get good numbers the better number you have the higher the value of the pen might increase if you have the chance to get a number one if you have a chance to get the number you know the last number the 400 of 400 or the thousand of thousand or a round number make sure to get those specific pieces don't go crazy about it but if you go in a store and they have a special number make sure to get it right away also one more thing i wanted to say so like everything and every industry watch out watch carefully, try to understand, try to also see aesthetically which are the more beautiful pieces and those are also the ones that are going to be very requested on the market. Next category I want to mention is similar to the limited edition but it's a bit different and it's the special editions or the one shots. So sometimes brands come out with a very, just with one production, you know, one shot of production or with a special editions. And often that, those special editions are pretty successful in the market. Let's take, for example, the Mont Blanc Le Petit Prince, very successful edition, but not on the market anymore. So nowadays, if you want to have a blue Le Petit Prince, the first edition, you're not going to find or it's, it's way more difficult to find it nowadays. You probably can still find a few pieces on eBay and so on but I just want to point out to actually when you get the chance to get your hands on such a special edition which you know is inspired to something important to something that has a, a, a relevance worldwide then don't hold just go buy it get it in because those pens will keep its value and will even increase in value over time then another category I want to mention is prototypes if you get the chance to get your hands on a prototype, then make sure to have it. A prototype or a number zero that, you know, that's the that has an incredible value. For example, Mont Blanc was doing internally demonstrator pens, okay? So there are a few demonstrator pens out on the market that nobody knows how, but it, it they, they went out of the factory and they're on the market now. And they're original and total legit pens. And those pens right now, they're being sold at like 6,000, 7,000, 8,000. Guys, these kind of pens don't have any value. I mean, they have a huge value. There's no price for it because they were never released on the market. So if you own one of those pieces, that pen over years might go up at 50, 100,000. You might buy it now at 5,000, but tomorrow it will have a value that you cannot even imagine. I mean, just think about, you know, Rolex Paul Newman's at the price they're being sold right now and the price that were sold 20 or 30 years ago. The, the, the price has increased in a way you cannot even imagine. So watch out. I'll show you, for example, something I had the chance to acquire and it's the number zero of the Design Zero Eight. So this is a kind of prototype. This is one of the first prototypes of the Design Zero Eight, of the first production ever done. You can imagine what kind of value this pen will have over years. I own one of the prototypes of Autohot of the Design Zero Eight. Plus, if we, wanna, if we really wanna take it, I also own the number one of the Design Zero Eight. So I have number zero and number one ever produced by Otto Hoot of the Designs Your Eight. These are the kind of things you have to watch out. And believe me, there are several, several interesting pens out there that you can acquire. You just have to watch carefully. Prototypes, things that have never been released will have a crazy increase of value over time. Then, special materialization. That's not a segment I'm very um, expert about, but Omas was doing some beautiful celluloids. So if you get to find specific materials or limited editions done by specific brands with a specific material like the Arco, uh, 
again, I'm not the expert. You, you, some of you watching probably know that very well and can even let me know down in the comments. But if you get your hands on one of those materials that are not going to be available anymore because once they're out, they're out, then you should make sure not to miss those pieces, all right? So again, check it out. Try to understand from forums, from other uh, websites, which materials come have a certain value, have a certain background and might be sold out very soon. There's one last thing I want to mention and it's anniversary edition. Every time you get the chance to buy an anniversary edition like the 100th years of Sailor or the 110th anniversary of Sailor which was released last year uh, or the 90 years of the Meisterstück, the 100 years of the Meisterstück, Guys, just buy it. Just buy it, don't even think about it. Because those pens, they're being produced only in that specific year. It's for the anniversary of an iconic brand or an iconic specific model, and it's going to increase in value over time. That I can almost guarantee. And again, the pen market right now is still very small, but it's going to grow. The more it grows, the more the demand will be big, the more the value of those pieces will increase dramatically and you will have a portfolio of beautiful luxury pens that have a pretty crazy value. I hope you enjoyed this selection. Let's go through it once again. So, collaboration pens. Then we have limited editions. Then we have special editions or one shots. Then we have prototypes, then we have special materials, and then we also have anniversary editions. If you have questions about anything that regards this kind of um, valuable pens or, or pens that have potential in, in value, make sure to drop me a comment below. And thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and don't forget that together we are changing the game.